She might be the best interviewer we've seen. Do Raelians believe in the afterlife? And she glowed on camera. She, she looked like did. an angel. Where was the travel? Raelians are universal, so they travel interstellar. I, know. I respectfully disagree, and I understand where Raelians are coming from. You're watching Travel Channel Star, and I'm your host, Bert Kreischer. Our judges are here to send two people to the final round of this three-round competition. We have five semifinalists, and we have sent film crews to each of their hometowns to tell a story in their area of expertise of travel. Christy Rojo, her specialty was spirituality, and she found something special in the Nevada desert. I think you guys are about to be surprised. Uh, go ahead. Hi, this is Christy, and I know that the judges had said that um, I was a little meek or that my topic of spirituality could be a little boring. Um, but I really think that today, this experience that I just had speaking with Thomas will really blow them out of the water. The Rain philosophy brings about a new explanation about the origin of life, that uh, advanced beings from another planet came here a long time ago and uh, created life. The Rain movement has two goals. One is to, to spread the message and two, to build the embassy. So I have to point out, um, there's a swastika in the middle uh -huh. of, is it the Star of David, that this is, like, is it like that's a symbol for, for the Raelian religion? Mm -hmm. So explain to me that. What the swastika it? is the oldest symbol on this planet, and it's absolutely nothing to do with uh, Nazis. The Nazis, you know, hijacked an existing symbol. This is the original symbol of our creators, the Elohim. If people have that knee-jerk reaction um, and associating it with, with Nazism, it's purely out of uh, lack of education. Do so, you have like a standard of morality? Because I think so many times in today, we kind of give into this notion of like moral relativism. You know, if, if what's true for me, even if it's bad, it's okay because it's my truth. Where do Raelians stand on that? Like what, what is their, their standard of? Even if, if the creator themselves would ask it to you, nothing ever justifies violence. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think so far? Good. Wow, this one is totally different than any of the other, any of the other videos we've seen. She might be the best interviewer we've seen. Might the be? Oh, I mean, yeah, I think Lord, like hands down, for sure. Running. She came in researched, she came in prepared, she came in willing to challenge him. Well, and she, was, yeah. She's also very insightful, and she has her own perspective on things, but also is open to hearing about his perspectives and asks the right questions. And it was interesting to me because of her, because she was probing and she was fearless, but she was respectful. I watched the first two minutes of her video, paused, and emailed everyone in production, not the judges, and said, she just blew me out of the water. This girl just hit a spiritual home run. My biggest concern, and I still have it, is her travel specialty. Um, where was the travel in this? Was she talking to this guy because they, the, this, this religious sect is only in Nevada? Do they have a temple? Do they have, show me something. They're sitting in a diner and just talk, talk, talk. It's, but it's, it's interesting. You know, I, I sat through half of this and I realized this is like a podcast. I could listen to- It was really interesting. I was interesting. fascinated about Raelians and at no point did she go, can I take that again? Yeah. She didn't. No. And they'd show that to us. And she glowed on camera. She, she looked like did. an angel with her white shirt she, on and her I skin was, just glowing. It was very spiritual for It me. really was. But, I, but I'm, I gotta tell you, I don't see it I don't see it as a travel show. She needs to be out and about Maybe a they're going to go to the Raelian Embassy. I want to see them go there. <laughs> well, the, you guys have all said extremely insightful <laughs> things that are about to be answered right now. So what about this sen sensual meditation? What is it? Sensual meditation is, yes, a training of the senses aiming at uh, an improved perception of the infinite. Um, that, that's really what sensual meditation is. Yeah. So I can't partake in it because I I don't, I have to stay true with what I believe in too, but I would love to see you. So can we go see of course. you? Yes. Yay, I'm yes. excited. Let's okay. Do it. Yay, they're gonna go. <laughs> it's incredible. What I like about the desert is it reminds me of, of, of what we are, where we come from, which is dust. We were at the lake bed to see Thomas um, practice a sensual meditation, which is something that a lot of Raelians do. The mountains were beautiful. They were different colors. It literally looked like a picture you see like in a National Geographic like magazine or something like that. There's something about the desert that makes you or forces you to be silent. Um, I kept telling this to Thomas, it kind of feels like you're stripped of everything. 
So. I feel mellowed out right now. I just have to say. <laughs> I, do I feel like feel we all just out. meditated. I smoked a Raylian joint or something. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I felt it through the screen. Here's the problem that I think is going to hold her back, is that her faith would not allow her to partake. That was one of the points in, in bold Good I wrote point. down. Good point. I really had it. Yeah. I kind of have an issue with that. As a travel host who's supposed to be in an immersive situation, the second you opt out of it because of your beliefs, then I think you've picked the wrong job. I like her a lot. I don't. I just think maybe she needs another focus, you know? Uh, I don't uh, know. I'm being dead serious. Uh, as a travel host, if I'm with that guy and he says, we're doing sensual meditation, me and him are getting naked in the desert together, <laughs> but I, nothing will stop me. That's my curiosity. I'm, yeah, I'm, right we are. I'm holding his hand and we're going. She well, can't speak to the experience no. unless she's done it herself. Yeah. And I think that is a big issue here. So as a user or a viewer, I want to see a travel host engage. Yeah. I want to see them do something that I haven't done or I can't do because they're there. And we want to see the uncomfort in her and her memoir. Yeah. We need experience to experience it, it through her. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. She is leaps and bounds beyond any of the contestants on camera. At no point did she mug, at no point yeah. did she play to the camera. She talked to the person she was interacting with, which is so special. The only problem is... She didn't dive in. You didn't dive in. If she had taken that, if she had gone into the desert and done a spiritual yes. meditation with her, she would have sold spirituality to me in a heartbeat. Yeah. I am fascinated by the Raelians, but I had no idea what they do. Yeah. <laughs> she, Because she didn't take my hand and walk me through the journey as a host. Right. She's a she, great interviewer. I don't know about a great host. If you, if you set up those boundaries, it's hard to be a true traveler. It really is. Stay with Travel Channel all summer long and check in on TravelChannel.com and all our social media outlets for updates. We'll be crisscrossing the country with our contestants as they compete to be the first Travel Channel star. Then watch our one hour special on September 7th at 8 p.m. to find out who becomes the first ever Travel Channel star.